two years I was planning to do like a commentary video like while uh, recording the video but lately uh, for like the last week like the last two weeks I've been having like uh, a lot of lex electric storms outside of the house which was pretty pretty bad for actually has been quite bad so that's why I had to do a voice over all over again and I think it's okay to a certain extent it's okay it kind of like limits the time I'd spend like recording and editing the video so it's pretty much it and now listening to it I don't end up liking it as much because <laughs> I found out non-copyright music and at first I thought like oh it's okay and now I that I'm listening to it again I'm like okay it's kind of lame but so that's that's it so I get like enjoy the video I guess I hope <laughs> so we'll start like the video like pretty much how I was doing like in the moment you're seeing that I'm kind of like walking the issue is that I when I was like listening to the recording to the video record I realized that you couldn't hear like my voice at all so that's why I have to like do a voice over on this situation but pretty much I was telling you like what were my plans or how I pretty much see like the walk and what I was going to talk to you about like during last these I think it's 10 minutes 11 minutes it's going to be yeah pretty much what it was so it, i don't care i don't think it's important to like recover it i guess we can start like with i don't know how are you doing your how you did in your holidays i don't know if you celebrate your holidays or not pretty much what you're seeing or what i was commenting about you is like that i started like doing this skirt and i was showing you in the video before and what i was showing you is that it didn't come out as I wanted to even though I make the pattern and stuff it ended up like with these weird flappers like flaps on the sides so that was what I was trying to correct it today right now I'm doing the, the skirt still I'm still walking on it so that's pretty much what I'm doing while I'm doing this voice over but yes and aside from that so yes I was telling you about that I wanted to talk about some stuff like that I've been watching, that I've been doing, and for example, one of those things that I was doing, that I was watching, is that I was catching up like with the this manga of One Punch. Yeah, I was watching One Punch Man, and I didn't, I didn't remember it being like so gory, so bloody to that to that extent. Like all these characters dying and all that stuff. It's getting like on my nerves kind of thing <laughs> it's been pretty great lately and i've been so so annoying of people like complaining about it like eh, but saitama could save us all and i'm like well that will ruin the whole point of it isn't because yeah like saitama is like this very very strong character so it will just completely ruin the whole point of the of the manga will be end up like in the first two chapters so you're just complaining about nothing but that's pretty much my opinion the rest of it it's been like quite gory lately and i still liking it i've been liking it and just seeing like the recent chapter with the all these characters are dying and everyone is like on the line i'm like oh god uh, one of these mangas that taught me like how to deal with deaths in fictional characters was gangster it's like everyone dies so if you read gangster you don't you learn who, how not to attach to characters like at all like you shouldn't aside from that i've been having some issues like with speaking right now because i got the surgery done like uh, two days ago and i realized that i was lying to myself like i was supposed to post this video on saturday and then the surgery came out and i couldn't speak like i still having some issues i have like a a, like a, I don't know how you call it like an exodontia it will be like the medical term but it pretty much like you can see in like <laughs> right in the video I tried like to put like the less gory uh, <laughs> image I could find but yeah pretty much what they do is like they extract your tooth but it, they do it either with forceps like you could see the image that I'm uh, pulling out on the video 
or they do like what they do to me in my case they have to like open the comments with the yeah literally cutting off and uh, using like uh, i don't know what the name of the tool it is but yeah they pretty much broke my fucking jaw i don't know if i should swear but <laughs> Yes, they pretty much like broke it. So I've been having some issues like trying to speak lately because it causes me a lot of like bleeding and stuff. On top of that, like at that moment, I was listening to like this uh, Japanese band. And I don't know if that happened to you. I did want to like make the comment is that I cannot listen to Japanese music because it, because it all reminds me to like openings of the animes. So it's very difficult. I don't know if that's controversial to say. Controversial to say. Like if uh, openings of animes are music or not. I don't know. But I think it's pretty cool. It's its name is like Ningen Isu Ningen something. All link I will put like in the list that I leave in the comments below. I will put like the name and this song that I was listening to. But it was pretty much like very nice actually it kind of like good uh, uh free me from my curse of not being able to listen to music to japanese music because it brings me to uh yeah i like this weird feeling that i'm listening to you know like like an opening then you scream back like to the topic of the skirt diving it's been going on like pretty well i will i think i will post the the results at the end like i managed to get rid of like those flaps that were on the side and it became like this kind of pencil skirt in a way and it's pretty much yeah, i really like how it is how it's looking and it's at this point um you're looking at how i'm like doing like the belt uh, side like yeah, like the side of the waist and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Aside from that, like, I've been enjoying the process quite a lot, quite a lot. I don't know if you like like sewing or if you have something else like you like to do in your spare time. I really enjoy like sewing stuff. It's very stressful, stressful in many ways, but it's okay. And that moment I was recording after watching this movie related to psychologists. I don't know if you consider or not psych uh, analytics like analysis, like a science, pseudo science or whatever. But I think it's very interesting. I don't know if you consider consider dreams to be interesting or not. In that part, um, I don't know if I'm going to get kick ass by a copyright issue, but it's one of the the first dreams that uh, he mentions. And it's very much like it does feels like watching a dream in a weird way like these fi weird things that you watch in a dream and yes i did record from my cell phone i'm sorry like i'm some kind of criminal you can curse me if you want to but yeah pretty much it, it does have like this though this weird sense of you having like a weird dream but at the same time for me it misses like a lot of things you know like this mystic thing that dreams have that you don't understand what's happening and it reminds me to like this gallery like this museum that i went uh, want this i think it's i think it was a polish girl i think polish or from Lithuania, i think so i'm not very sure but i know it's from the slavic side and this girl like puts this extremely weird things that are, are pretty much like dreams i don't know but i will show you a little bit of how it looks like but it's very very weird like you it's like a weird fibber dream so that's why i'm like do you consider like dreams to be important or not for me they are because they show me like if i'm stressed out or not i i only dream when i'm stressed out if not i don't but yeah it's very weird so yeah i pretty much shut up at this point and let you like kind of enjoy these small shorts that i got from that and it's very weird like i was laughing completely at the idea of seeing that but yeah 
but yeah he does remember like to have a dream like this very weird things that don't make any sense when you wake up and realize like what you've been dreaming but in your dream make completely sense like you i realized or in my case that i've never like questioned what i'm dreaming like while i'm dreaming that i just dream weird stuff and then like i'm when i wake up i'm like whoa what was that but yeah i that was the end of the like the video but yeah, it's very like a ritual like a weird ritual at that point i was just like ended up with my skirt it was pretty nice i think and yes i think i will i will, I will light it i think i because of the thing that it was caught because of the thunderstorm and you cannot hear my voice it's kind of like a a blue moon away that I cannot speak as much as I would like. Like I realized that I while I'm watching the video I have to like time it very well so I won't pass my time. But yeah pretty much in it. Yeah and what you would like to do if you would like to do is that uh, you will can do you can do like I do with when I was younger when I was younger that I tend like to leave my TV on and my mom will come in come in and say like what well, do you need your TV on if you're not watching it so that's pretty much what I'm trying to do with this like you know just leave it listen to me I guess if you think it's interesting what I'm saying if not I guess like turn off the, the volume just put the mute in it <laughs> and that will be it I think so I guess thank you for watching and you know a nice rest of your week weekend or whatever day you are in today